What's going on, people? Welcome to the No Cap High School Football Recap Show. I'm yours truly, Will. And the mayor's in the building. What's going on, mayor? Not much, man. What's going on with you? Hey, man, just trying to get through the Saturday. You know how it goes, man. After big games, after big games, it's kind of like, whoo, take a breath. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's beginning of the um, – our Saturday, we got a lot of things going on, so we want to go ahead and jump into it, man. How was your uh, night? Was it okay? <laughs> was it fine? We'll, we'll get into it a little bit, man. We get into it a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It is, it's too early for you to get me to start laughing big time. So <laughs> I don't even want to do that. Come on, let, let's hit the ground. We're going to hit the ground running. We're going to hit the ground running for you, rock and roll. Fort Knox 23, Valley 20. We've been talking about if people is going to be able to um, will themselves or be motivated to play and things like this. Valley was 1-8, Fort Knox 0-9. I just thought that Valley might would have had a little bit more. Uh, but maybe not. But what's your thoughts on this game? Man, shit, it looked like Valley had to leave some players outside the gate when they put up on the Fort Knox base. <laughs> <laughs> Some coaches or something, but yeah, but again, we were expecting Valley to win, but Fort Knox plus us there, you know, again, at a game like this, we were talking about it was all about pride. So Fort Knox just had a little bit more pride this one than Valley did, and Fort Knox looked like they had a kicker. Yeah, it looked like it was twenty to twenty, and Fort Knox had a kicker to end to seal the deal. Right, right, right. Uh, hey, nothing like the last regular season game to go ahead and at least get that one victory. I heard you, Fort Knox, twenty three to twenty over Valley. And I'm going to say this, man. Um, my picks were so horrible overall. That it, it, it was crushed. But only one game really mattered to me. <laughs> you guys will find out later. <laughs> yes, sir. Spencer County, 17. Nelson County, 7. Spencer decided they wanted to go ahead and show up and take care of business. And they did. Congratulations, Spencer County. What's your thoughts on this game, man? Man, I guess uh, Spencer County finally got it together right before the playoff season, which is kind of smart to me. Like, you know, they was up and down, up and down. Now you're hitting stride. Now they look like they're starting to hit their stride. Right, right. Big time because, you know, this was a 50-50 game to me. I might own – yeah, yeah, I lost that game too. Man, I done lost a lot of games this week. But uh, congratulations, Spencer County, for uh, showing uh, life. But let's not forget you went 19-1 last week, so this must be your payback. Yeah, it's my payback. I guess I was only focused on one game. One game. Wagner, 20. Shiny, 18. Look who decided to show up on this one. Look at that. Wagner improves the 2 and 8. Shiny falls to 3-7. and seven. No kickers allowed in this game, I guess. I have no idea. Maybe this score should have been 21 to 21? I don't know. What right. you got? Oh, uh, man. Wagner was like, hold my beer. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Because I want to say the vast majority of, the, of that team comes back next year. And I guess, you know, just like you said, to get a win on the last game, because I don't think Wagner's going to the playoffs. So, let's, you know, let's, this, that was, this was Wagner's playoff game. Some pride. Big time pride. Right? You know, it, it has to be. You know, it was at Wagner's senior night, too, also like that. So, you know, let's get it together. And they did, man. Uh, congratulations, Wagner, for that. Now, this right, this next one is kind of troublesome to me. E-Town, 31. Seneca, 22. E-Town improves to 3 and 7. Seneca falls to 4 and 5. They have been so inconsistent. Uh, big time talking about Seneca. I thought Seneca would show some maturity and go down there and, and beat a E-Town team that really has not been good. Um, I, I I don't know, man. What's your thoughts on this game? The Seneca leave the Seneca leave it all out last week. They just didn't have enough firepower this week. I did they overlook the team in for preparation for a playoff because you again they was two and eight. Right. Uh two and seven. Two and the seven team was. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so Seneca's like, all right, we got this. We got this game. You went to E Town and found out. You found out big time. 31 22. 
I don't know, man. Uh, like I said, I, I I think I was expecting big things. It's, it, it, don't get me wrong. Pl- the new season starts next week, but hmm, I don't know, man. I don't know. Speaking of finding out, PRP 49, Hopkinsville 14. Um, the little 40 piece? Almost a 50 piece? That's a chicken dinner, right? Yeah, if PRP got a chicken dinner from Frank Coles. <laughs> Good job, PRP. And again, man, this uh, yesterday stuck to the script and ran the ball. Needed to. Yeah, because again, they finally made that old line work for their money. Yeah, you you can't be that big and not run the ball. I'm sorry. I mean, I understand the big don't mean that translate that it's going to be good, but you can at least mask at least try right. And and we've been talking mm-hmm. about that. We've been talking about running the ball and uh, look like they might have done that. Forty nine to fourteen, uh, PRP improves to five and five on the season, and Hopkins Hopkinsville falls to one and nine. Man, so. Uh, who PRP? Did, did we not forget? I know they got somebody uh, I think good in Next the playoffs, week. but I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead, uh, Mr. Love. Where you at? Come on, step onto the step onto the uh, table, Mr. Love. Uh, <laughs> let's run that back. Let's let's do a triple or nothing. Is it is it PRP and Ballard next week? I need Mr. Love to step to the step to the mic. I want triple or nothing. Let me let me. We would get the Mr. I'm going Love. triple. I'm going triple or nothing. Mi- <laughs> Thirty six. Mi- Mr. Love is MIA. Uh, I did. I did have a sighting of him though. Uh, Mark and Will Show did put a poll on 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 the Facebook uh, who was going to win the Mel Mania game, and he was one of the you know vote for Manuel. Uh But he's he's MIA. I think we're looking for him uh, big time. Well, if y'all see him. Mr. Antonio Love, I ain't gonna throw his, his name out there, but I'm I'm going. Matter of fact, I might even go four, four, four. Freak that! I need my forty. Quadruple. Yeah, quadruple. Yeah. Quadruple. I know. We gonna go ahead and go for forty. Man, we ain't gonna find him, man. He's 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 done. He's he's uh, you know what he is, man. I'm I'm gonna be real with you. He he is truly done, done. He's done, done. And I don't blame him. Uh, let's go. Let's go. North Odom, 29. Odom County, 7. Jace Bullock, 2. Passing TDs. Dawson Nagel, 2 TDs. Grace Schmidt, a receive, uh, receiving TD, an interception, and a forced fumble, a uh, fumble recovery, I'm sorry. And he has broke almost every receiving record, sing, single season record for Er Brock and company. Odom County has not been the same since probably Katie Shepard has been on the show. I'm just gonna say that they they fall to three and seven. North Odom improves to six and four. Congratulations, Air Brock and Company. Now, does Air Brock and Company, even though we, you know it's it's not Thursday, they got a tough one next week, buddy. Mm. Do they mm. let it fly again? Because who they I got go ahead, I, show, oh, I think they got, they got the sales. If I, I think they got the sales, if I'm not mistaken. Ooh, off the dribble. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell you now. Uh, what's his, what's the quarterback's name? Chase. Uh, Bullock. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go Bullock. ahead. No. Go ahead. Ice your shoulder, man. Ice your shoulder. Ice. Your. Matter of fact, just sleep in the ice tub. Don't. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure he gonna let that bag out and let that thing spin next week. It's playoffs. Playoffs. They got nothing else to do. But hey. Congratulations, North Odom, uh, for that victory. Of Odom Hold on. County. Do we get our heads yet? Do, do, do we get a, ra- uh... That's why I was wrapping it up. <clears throat> that's why I was wrapping it up. I was wrapping Hold it on. up. Eric Brock, I know you watched the show. Just tell me when and where I need to pull up. I'll pull up. You ain't even got Millet. I will pull up. He's been on the show. Players been on the show. We talk about that team. I, I don't. I mean, at this at this moment, I think we probably need Kangos, North Oldham Kangos. We need all that stuff, man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Everything. I don't. I don't know. If and if you don't have it, you gotta you gotta make it. That's all I gotta say. Get them off the show. Get them off. Get them off. Get them off. North Bullet, thirty five Southern three. Gonna give us the spill on this game for us, please. 
Okay, is that the spill? No, I'm pulling. No, I'm pulling. Takes care of business, 35 to 3. Go ahead. They lined it up, man, and, you know, good old-fashioned, take you to the sledgehammer. Ran the ball pretty damn good yesterday. Uh, didn't really have an answer. Had some kids get hurt early in the game, and, you know, it was the next – it was the next man up syndrome, but we really, you know, right, right. Uh, sound like y'all, uh, sound like y'all bought him a kill din- dinner up there. That's just what it sounds. No, nah, like. raising canes. <laughs> raising canes. No Zach's. Yeah. No Zach's. No nah, Zach's. Be sold. It's, it's North Bullet, man. Raising canes. They 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 had chicken tenders, man. We ain't 30, 30 pieces of chicken chicken tenders, man. Oh my good that cane sauce with that cane sauce. Speaking of cane sauce, more 13 Western six. Woo wee. Another team, another game that I did not pick right. But congratulations more, Coach McKay, uh, for doing that, for getting that win. And and they improved to six and four and Western Falls to three and six. What's your thoughts on this game? Man, it's just it's it's hard for it's just hard to get a finger on more. Yes, it's it's just it's what it is, man. It's just hard to get to figure out more. Well, I'm gonna tell you what they they better hurry up. They better hurry up. Um, uh, you know they started out like game busters, had a lull, but then they go back and forth. But you absolutely right. It is hard to to do that, but hey. A successful season, right? Six and four for more, taking care of business. Western Coast Crow, we know that they got some building to do, but hey, it's playoff time. It's playoff time. Mm. Look at her. Look at her. A 40 piece, almost a 50 piece, but mm, Thomas Nelson, 48, Iroquois, six. I mean, I, I don't even feel like. Throwing no jokes, doing anything. It is what it is. Forty-eight to six on this one. I mean, are we surprised? Yeah. Not really surprised, man. Nelson County, Thomas Nelson, like shit. Y'all ain't knocking down our school just yet. <laughs> Put it all together, huh? Let's get it. Let's, yeah. Uh, yeah. Y'all ain't knock. Y'all ain't look. Y'all not abandoning our school, so we gonna go ahead and, and figure this out. Right. Right. And uh, we're, even if we're not practicing, we have enough to beat Iroquois. Yeah, moving right along. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Now, this I think this may be the first on the show. Eastern 48, Paul Dunbar, 42. We're talking about uh, Eastern got a chicken dinner, mm-hmm. but they gave up a chicken dinner. Uh, <laughs> me. So who went to Franco's? Who went to uh, OJ's? Uh, what, I mean, what what's the deal? Uh, congratulations for going up to Lexington, taking care of business, Eastern. Because you lost early in the season to a Lexington team, but you went ahead and did us a solid. But woo, what's your thoughts, man? Man, they went to neither one of them, man. They, this is a <laughs> bow jingles. No, nah, you can't do bow jingles to... like that. You can't do bow jingles like that, man. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We ain't got a church of chicken here. This is this is this is shale. This is get this is nah. shale, not not marathon. This is. Not, no, it's, but this is Eastern, so this ain't this is Bojangle. Like this ain't no shit. Eastern don't know that that, that gas station chicken life. They 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 traveled up the the Lex, so they, they right and yeah, they yeah. and they stopped at the Bojangles in in uh, Scott County. It's like right there on the off the expressway, right I'm there. Not, and got I'm them not, some. Chi- I'm not giving it to them. I'm not giving it to them. I cannot give that to them. I'm not gonna let you tarnish Bojangles. Love. So is it a K- love, Is it a, so is it a, is it a KFC by Eastern? They got a pie pass, on but this ain't no, you know. No, no, no. They don't get that spicy neither. They don't. They, right. This is this is Love Gas Station. Yeah, because they did give up forty two. Yeah, so yeah, we go we go score forty and we go give up forty. <laughs> we go give y'all some love chicken. Some yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is like it is what it is. Easton approves the four and six. Paul Dunbar three and seven. But yeah, I mean that's yeah. Ugh. Okay, okay. Ferdell bounce back. Forty-one dogs eight. Ferdell improves to five and five on the season. A up and down injury written season. Dogs falls to two and seven. We kind of 
kind of figure that this might be the case. What what do we think about the uh, Ferdale and this win? Uh, they must have watched the show. And it was the hammer. It was the hammer. They definitely yeah, was the hammer. Set the tone early and, 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 and rode the wave. Right, right. Uh you know, now new you just season. got to piece it. Go ahead. Yeah, now you just got to piece it together for the new season. Yep. New season. New season begins and um, today. <laughs> yeah. Some schools, some teams today. Yeah, and thing about it is, it ain't no. Uh, let's wait and see. This is this is one and done. It's over with. If you don't, so are you what you are? Are you improve? Are you know you got enough far apart to do what you got to do? I don't know who they play next week, and we will definitely talk about that later on next week, but. You got to get it together. You got to do something. Uh, DeSales, 29, John Harden, 14. DeSales is moving right along. They, uh, you know, take care of business. I mean, I think we thought about this. We thought that this would turn out this way. What's your thoughts on DeSales as they prep for the uh, playoffs? Even though it's a 15-point lead, I still think that was a little too close. Okay. I thought DeSales would have. I thought the sales would have just, you know, beat the brakes off of them, to be honest. Right, right, right. Uh, plus, it was that the sales, you know, sales proof. Senior night. Senior night, eight and two. John Harden fall, falls to four and, and six. Yeah, I, you know, or maybe, maybe, you know, I was going to say, did they rest some? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Because you're looking at a senior class that went through a lot of coaches changes. Yes. I want to say Coach Davis was the coach that freshman year. Then they would have uh, – then they had another coach their sophomore year, and then okay. they had Coach Jackson junior senior year. So you know you didn't have a, you know, right a, a right. team that went through a lot with consistency. Right. Well, go ahead and finish it off good. You know what I'm saying eight and two um, playoffs is next week. So <clears throat> let's see, and, and definitely we'll be keeping an eye on them to see what's going on. This right here, this was a little bit uh, shocking to me. Great crossing, 42, Collins, 34. Jeremiah Clark uh, for a great uh, crossing, pass for 128 yards, two TDs, one rushing TD. Jacob Johnson, 75-yard uh, TD. K. Gooden, he had 358, but it was on 47 pass attempts He in three TDs. He had 153 yards rushing, two TDs. Like he was, it, it was the K. Gooden show, but they couldn't stop great crossing yeah this is one of those games in which Greg cross said Caden K we know what you can do so we're gonna let you do you and we're gonna stop everybody else right right I could not even stop but contain everybody else because they scored 34 points right did just enough just cool. enough to take care of business and they did so uh yeah great crossing congratulations on that one you have improved to two and eight Collins falls to six and four and great crossing for your great achievement. You got the male Bulldogs next week. <laughs> Central 30. W E B the boys zero. Uh fish dinner, uh fish was flying everywhere and uh seemed like hey, let's get this over with and do what we gotta do. First of all, we always do this, we always say this. The boys uh Congratulations on a, a great regular season anyway. You know, you guys finished 2-8. and eight. It's about the culture building and all that kind of stuff like that. So, hats off to Coach Durant and the boys. Central is rounding up. They're 5-5 five and five now, uh, getting ready to playoffs. If you look at their record, if you're a team and you didn't, you don't know who Central are and you see 5-5, five and five, believe me, I don't think you want to see them in your bracket. But uh, what, you, what you thinking? Man, uh, against uh, heads off to Central because this game could have easily got ugly, and for him to call the dogs off at thirty, you know, just speaks of what you know the type of coach he is. But um, and then shots off to whatever school allowed the boys to have a home game. That's you know that's that was huge. Just let those boys experience a home game for once. Oh, that's but good. all in all, but uh, all in all, you know, again, like you said, Central is going to be Central is sneaky good because their defense is probably top whatever mm -hmm. in the state. Right. Then if that offense could just play to the defense, hell, even I think they got that just score enough points and we can keep them at the end zone. 
Right, right. <clears throat> In the previous week, you know, like we talked about how, you know, we've been riding them on and talking about, hey, y'all need to pass the pass. And they did. So, like we talked about uh, on the preview show that basically, hey, this give 150 yards. You know what I'm saying? It don't have to be 300 yards. This switch it up so Cortez won't be single and you can hit home runs. And they hopefully they will carry that on and do what they got to do. But, like, we are saying – you do not want to see them in your bracket because if you look at that record, yeah, okay, and you think they're not going to do nothing, good luck. And I'm going to say something like this. If, if it's like it was last year, mm-hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if it's Central and Cal in the state championship. Right. <laughs> right. Right. I'm with you. I'm with you. I know some other uh, <clears throat> schools probably wouldn't like that in the state, but it is what it is. Speaking of it is what it is, Holy Cross 27, Butler 0. Uh, Holy Cross improves to 5-5, five and five. Butler falls to 3-7. and seven. And I will say this, for Butler to get three wins, uh, hats off to them. Because when I saw them early in the season, of course, against Mel, but I've seen them another time. I didn't, I didn't see this as a three-win team. But uh, hats off to them. Uh, it is what it is. What you got? Man, Holy Cross broke out the gray belts and the gray uh, ties. <laughs> yeah, they did. And they kind of gave Butler a whooping. Oh, yeah. Get and this, but you know what's crazy? This is one of those games, Holy Cross. I think this is one of those games saying that we should have been doing this all year. Okay. Okay. Well. No, no, no better time to do it now, right? Because you got the playoffs. So, hey, we'll see. You know, we're going to see. We're going to learn a lot about a lot of schools in the next, I say, two to three weeks. Because the first week we already know pretty much. Bullet East, 43. Me County, 20. Bullet East improves to four, uh, eight and two. Me County falls to five and five. I'm sure Z Man was going bananas against Me County because Me County. Can't stop anybody. At least as we are. I don't even know how they who I gotta look at their schedule, see who they got them five wins. Cause every time we see them on this show, <clears throat> they getting the brakes beat off of them. What you what you got? All right, man. I'm gonna I'm I'm, a, I'm about to tap you in into my little bullet he stick. Okay. In what is that? Right before Fort Knox, it's a little gas station. Okay. Can't can't think of the name of this gas station, but to me it's got the best chicken. <laughs> you told me. Yeah. It's got the best chicken. I can't think of that name of that gas station, but it's right before Fort Knox and like right, like soon as you get through like Meade County, I think. Mm-hmm. It sits on the If you're going towards Fort Knox, it sits on the left. Bullet East stop right there. <laughs> and got some of that chicken. About. I can't think of the name. <laughs> but when I say they got the best chicken, yeah. And I'm going to tell you guys, uh, you know how we always <clears throat> talk about chicken, rib dinner, and stuff like that. He told me about this uh, gas station. Uh, I think it was like last year or so, something like that. You uh, you told me about it, and uh, I can't think of the name, but that chicken, that, that chicken, where, whatever gas station it is, it got to be the best chicken because you, you, you bring that up. So you got to find out the name, man. We got to give it, you know what I'm saying? We got to give them the, uh, oh, the yeah. props. See now I'm gonna have to because now I'm giving out my secret because now a bunch of teams is about to start going to my sending somebody to some my gas station. Uh, out that way is a, is quite a few schools that probably need to. Listen, not just out that way. It's gonna be um, some. It's gonna be some people sending some cat. Hey, I need you to go to this gas station and get the chicken. What? Hey, whatever it takes. That's all I gotta say. And J Town fifty two, Bullet Central twenty two. Uh, a 50 piece, a rib dinner. J Town is 91. Bullet Central Falls to 1 and 9. J Town that went to Finley. Got that rib tip dinner. Big time. Big time. You know, hey, <clears throat> I love how, you know, after they took that loss a couple of games ago, how they just rebounded and taking care of business. Coach Ellison is doing his thing. Uh, the you know Raymond, <clears throat> Caden, Cameron, all them. You know what I'm saying? Is is balling. So good win for J Town, fifty two to twenty two. 
The Big A Factory says they're not done yet. Atherton 25, Shelby County 13. I guess they didn't lock the gates. No. <laughs> they just closed them and then just closed them. And didn't even put the, uh, the little latch down. They just closed it. Like pulled it out. Yeah. <laughs> Pull it out. I don't think nobody's coming in. Yeah, after they came in and took care of business. I, you know, 9 and 1, the first time I think in school history. 9 and 1, taking care of business, man. Hey, hats off to the Big A Factory, man. They doing their thing, district, man. District champs, you know, all yes. that good stuff. Uh, yes. You know, the, the, the Kentucky, the, the Louisville Darlings right now. Right, right, right. I can tell you this much. Nino has changed the culture to where they won't be scheduled for homecomings no more. I can tell you that damn much. Yeah, that's a wrap. That's a wrap. You're not going to do that. You're going to get embarrassed. You're going to get embarrassed. But, hey, hats off to them taking care of business. And uh, since we still we still don't got the gear, it's a wrap. And you know what's crazy? I just talked to Giddens, and he ain't said nothing about Kurt Snow giving him nothing to give to us. Over. Ballard, 50 piece. Woodford County, 21. So I think Ballard's really been listening and taking your advice on what the word. What did you tell him the word uh, last night? Did you tell him black to put forces? On some black forces. I told okay. him to put on the black forces. Okay. Okay. You were going to a hostile environment. We know how Wilfred County plays at the crib, and they didn't. They didn't spank some teams at the crib. Yes, sir. Um, talked to the head coach last night. He said they were down fourteen, so they had to come back. They had to come back for this victory. Mm. This is the black forces. They put on the black forces and took care of business. And so, they finally do one three straight this year, they, you know, because they they win two lose, win two and lose. So, they finally won three straight. So you telling me that Ballard outscored them fifty to seven? Did mm-hmm. you say they was down fourteen? Wow. He said they were down fourteen. Mm. Okay. Hey, hats off to Ballard. Like you said, they're putting together three three straight wins. Uh, perfect time to put it together. Perfect time. And I think they got the, the ridge again. Yeah. Okay. 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 If they quadruple or nothing going, I'm telling you. <laughs> Mr. Love, quadruple or nothing. Man, we ain't gonna find him, man. It's a wrap. He's done. Hey, Go you ahead. know how to do edits, right? We're gonna put him on the milk crate next week on, on the milk carton. I got you. Have I you can... seen have you seen this man? I, I I can do that. I can definitely do that. I can definitely and especially somebody definitely do that. Henry County, <clears throat> 34, KCD, 24. Henry County improves to 7-3. KCD has fallen to 8-2. and two, Well, fall to 8. They're 8-2. and two. They lost two in a row. Is this – let me ask you this. You a coach. Is this a – could this be an example of uh, letting the team beat you twice? Um, Not necessarily that. This is almost – they know they're going to the playoffs. Okay. So, this it, is just one of those things. It's just they – didn't taste the feet early. So they did, I guess they didn't know how to handle it. it. was able to, Henry Kenny was able to get in, beat them up real good right before the playoff. Now you just got to regroup because again, now it's when I go home. So mm-hmm. at least, you know, if if I'm going to lose, I'd rather lose in the regular season. True. I mean, that's true. I think one of the concerns to me for KCD moving forward is that <clears throat> I don't, I haven't seen the stats. But we know that Henry County is a, a rushing team. Before this game, they've given up close to 1,400 yards rushing, talking about KCD. Uh, this could be their kryptonite. So they need to show up some things, go back to the lab, take care of some business. Um, good win, Henry County. Well, somebody went home and took care of business. St. X, 27, Bowling Green, 12. Well, you talking about, hey, hey, now when they do well, I, I'm going to talk about them. For that defense to go down there and only give up 12 points, heads off to them. Havel had a rushing TD, a passing TD. I don't know if he got hurt because another quarterback, Andrello, came in there and had a rushing TD and a passing TD. And the only reason I'm saying that because this wasn't like it was a blowout. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, Right. And they ain't never played two quarterbacks, so maybe Evan may get hurt. I don't know. We'll find out. But for that defense to only give up 12 to Deuce Bailey and company, hats off to St. X. Oh, yeah. 
And it's been, ever since I've been telling them to wear them black ties, I don't know if they're doing it or not, but ever since I've been telling them to wear them black ties, they've been playing lights out. Yeah. Right. Right. Heads off, man. Good win, man. Good win on the road, too. Bowling Green, you know they wasn't playing. You know they probably – St. X probably beat them 40, 48 to 12, but we'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. All right. Um, uh, Kyle, 36, Garden Creek, zero. Um, you and I kind of knew that this was probably going to happen, <laughs> the passing attack, because we seen it happen two weeks ago. This was at Fern Creek. It doesn't make a difference. Cal improved the 9 1. Fern Creek falls to 6 and 4. Cole Hodge, 29 for 34. 29 for 34. 404 yards, four TDs. He took care of his brother, brotherly love. Connor Hodge, 11 catches, 189 yards, three TDs. Fern Creek had a total of 98 yards at the crib. Kyle, man, I'm gonna need y'all to come up. I'm gonna need y'all to come up six eight, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna need you have select two. And I'm not and I'm not putting Fern Creek on Manuel's level, but you have select two of them. Big time. What's your thoughts on this game, man? But like you said, man, Cal is gonna do Cal things. And I'm pretty sure that uh Tollbridge and company, hell, you got Hunter Catwell, quarterback. You got Chris Redmond, quarterback. And you got Tollbridge, tight end. They didn't seen some stuff in that passing thing that they was going to exploit, and they exploited it. Big time. Don't forget Doug Beaumont. Yeah, I forgot, that. I forgot about him. And then not to mention the defense. Goodness gracious, the whole Mr. Malone to under 100 yards. Hell, the, the whole the team to under 100 total yards. It's, it's, and then they played lights out. At Again, Turner. another team that's gearing up. That's gearing up for the playoffs. Like they put the play, they put the playoff playbook together. Yeah, they did. And it's all systems go now. Right, I'm with you. I, I am so rooting, and I'm sorry for all the other teams uh, in that in that class, but I'm so rooting for a Cal and Central rematch in the state championship. I'm not gonna lie, I am. It is what it is. All right. <clears throat> Biggie, 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 can't you see? Let's go, let's go. So, Mel, 30, Manuel, 23. Uh, the actual score is probably closer than the game was. Uh, this game was 27 to 7 at halftime. Uh, hats off to Manuel for competing and doing what they got to do to get it close. I also heard it was some questionable calls in that second half, which. You know, it is what it is. You're you're the road team. But I had some questions or things. I said, can male defense contain Manuel's rushing game? Can male rush against Manuel's front seven? Can Manuel DB slow down the pass attack? Can Manuel keep him off balance? Well, I was able, you know, uh, for everybody who knows, I well, they don't know. I wasn't able to attend. I had some other stuff I had to do. So I was able to watch uh, pretty much what I needed to watch at first half, and I saw a lot. Uh, Mayo took care of the rushing game. Zeke had three, he had three TDs, but it was on 34 yards. He was primarily the running back, and they, you know, they switch up with trainer. They, 34 yards for Zeke is nothing, you know. Um, the rush, can Mayo, can Mayo rush against the defense? Mayo was this, let's put it this way, let me get these stats. Jace, Jace Burton, 10 carries, 64 yards of TD. Shamaya Gates, 12 carries, 61 yards. Max Ganey, 5 catches, 142 yards of TD. Antonio Harris, a TD. Uh, DJ Grintner, a TD. Coulter, 119 yards, 3 TDs. The game was really over the first half, period. Uh, this was bigger than the Burrow. This was home field advantage. Taking care of business of your rival, uh, 10, you know, 10 straight times, taking care of it at third place, senior night, everybody's there. Uh, it is what it is, man. What's your thoughts before I wrap this up? It's time to give Mel, you and Mel the same respect as you do at Trinity and St. X and move the game. Because mm. there was a lot of people that could, 
it, it was a lot of people that couldn't get in the game. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was some parents that couldn't see their kid or some grandparents that were working late that couldn't see their grandchild, some aunties and uncles. It's time to move that game. Like, it's time for the, the bigger heads to start trying to move that game into a bigger facility because this is getting ridiculous. But heads off to Mel. Now, I'm asking, I hope Mel keeps their foot on the gas. The hell with this letting up off the gas because, to me, you was up 27-7 and you only won 30-23. to You let your foot off the gas. <laughs> you get paid you. to score, they get paid to stop you. Because <laughs> you go mess around and get to the playoffs and you go run into the situation and then a team that, you know, you mess around and play them again and you let up too early. It might be reversed. True, true. I would say this. If this was at mail, it would have been probably 50-something to, to 14. I'm just going to be real. Point blank. This, Thank goodness for Emmanuel that they're on the other side. Because if this is, mm-hmm. a, Max, if this is a Maxwell field, this is not even – you won't even see the score. It won't. Um, I would say this, though. Um, I'm with you. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Don't try to protect – and I get it. You know, this win, stay healthy, all this kind of stuff. But I'm from the old school. Like you just said, if I'm going to score, I'm going to score. You got to stop it. If you can't stop it, it is what it is. I don't care what feelings or who I'm hurting or who I know on the other side, I'm going to take care of business. Um, like I said, Manuel showed some grit, did what I had to do. I did see that matchup, uh, Chris Jones and, and Spike, uh, quite a few times. And I did see Spike taking care of business. Chris Jones did step up and show out uh, a couple of times. But Mel pretty much had their way, man, with the Russian, man. I mean, it, was, it, it is what it is. Pick your poison. <clears throat> and very impressed with them to take care of business. Now you got home field advantage. People got to come see you at Maxwell Field uh, <clears throat> trying to take care of business. And I will say this. Uh, whoever was doing the game, man, I mean, I, you know, the greater rivalry, whatever, the dude who did it, I think they've been doing it for a while, 20 years or whatever. I am the biggest male homer. I am. But when I do a show, you can't tell unless I talk about male, right? But when I preview, I'm just got questions. Put your man, your cap up, bro. That was that was dis- disgusting, how much that was, and that was supposed to be, uh, uh, you know, out like that's like you and I. If we do ball or whatever, we gonna call it. You know what I'm saying? We gonna call it like it is, but we ain't gonna be that big of a homie, man. Come on, chill, bro. You might as well let the man will do the show, uh, do the game next year or whatever. God, because that that was disgusting. But anyway, you don't want me. You don't want me doing commentating because it might be some. You might get FCC. Cause I'm gonna say some stuff. Well, we're gonna have somebody, but we're gonna try to beat you out real quick, and, and, and I have to calm down myself. But that was disgusting. But anyway, congratulations, Mel But I was taking care of business, like I knew you were. And I, you remember, I said before we get off her, I said even though the score indicates that woo 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 to me and whatever. Anyway, I said that a lot of games that people think is gonna be real close, it really not. And I also said that you can't let Mel jump on you. And Mel jumped on them 14 to nothing. That was it. It was done. It was over with. You can't, at home, you cannot do, can't do it, period. But at home, it was a wrap, man. It was a wrap. <clears throat> Creech was, I don't know, man. I didn't know that he was like a receiver last year or something else. He, you know, so hats off to him for improving his game. But it is what it is. I'm, now, I'm, it's, it's, I can't wait to see the, the total bracket so we can really see. And I'm thinking that now that's shifted, and I think St. X and Trinity is going to be towards the manual bracket. And I'm going to say this. You, to the powers that be, you got one year to get this figured out, to get this game moved to l Stadium. Do it. And the thing about it, 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 it was moved before. It's been there before. It's been, well, to Cardinal Stadium or whatever. So you can, you can do it. If you could do it for St. X Trinity, you could do it for this one. I'm with you, Mayor. Who's your, before we leave, who's your team of the night? I'm going with the Black. I'm going with the Black Tie Gang, man. St. X. Woo! Impressive. I'm going with the Black Tie. You got three You got three straight shutouts, and you gave up 12 points to a, to a young, to, like you said, to a deuce offense that's 
crazy that's been running wild in that area. Lights out. And what they went down there to do, man, is it's crazy. You had them to twelve points. So, man, heads off to the to the Black Tag Gang in St. Nick's High School. Yeah. Well, I got the Homer head on, I guess, because I'm going with the Bulldogs. Anytime it, this was bigger than the Borough, and I don't think other people understand. This is big. This is home field advantage. It's, you do not want to face male at male. And this right here. You did it. You you played for a lot on the table, a lot of chips on the table. You took care of business. So congratulations, Mel. Congratulations for taking care of the, bringing that, keeping that burrow and taking care of business. With that note, we out. We holler at you guys. We see you. If you see week. me at tailgate and pull up and say what's up, because I will. I am about to go tailgate. If you see me, take a pick and let's rock. Peace out, guys. Peace. <laughs>